Hello everybody out there on the internet, I'm the Toaster, and today we're going to react to NF Therapy Session. I'm so excited. We did intro to, it was a great introduction to the new album we're getting to, and now we're up to Therapy Session, which is what the album, I guess, is named after. I'm excited. Now, <laughs> I'll pull it up here, but as you can see, there is a warning. Following images and or content may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Keep that in mind. I am an adult by Australian standards, so I can watch it without being disturbed. I don't know what it's going to get into, get into, but I don't think we've had a song so far that's had a warning before it, so I'm ready, I'm ready. That means it's going to be good, maybe, hopefully. Let's go. I'm getting straight into it. Three, two, one. Let's kick it. Oh, I'm so excited. I've got lyrics over here. Actually, no, I don't. I've got them on here. Yeah, okay, cool. There we go. Viewer discretion. That looks a lot like me when I was really, like, not really young, but when I was, like, 14, 15. The hair! You know, I don't have that sort of hair now, but I used to be that blonde. And I used to just get, like, fluffy curls. Now I've just kind of got stringy curls. I don't know why. It just, even no matter how much shampoo I use and conditioner, it just doesn't go back to fluffy. But he looks a lot like me, so that's disturbing. I don't cut my wrist, you know. I don't think I ever did. No, I don't think I did. I don't know. I did burn myself every once in a while when I was really, really, really deep in it. That was ages ago. I'm better now. Don't worry about me. But, ugh. The imagery already. It's going to be a deep song. I love the piano. Mmm. That earth. Earth. I love that. Yeah. I got upstate like a month ago. I was talking to fans and one of them pulled me aside and said we never met. Hold up. These lyrics are jumping around too much. <sighs> Stop it. Talking to fans and one of them pulled me aside and said we never met. But I swear that you know who I am. I've been through a lot. I don't know how to express it to people. Don't think that I can. But I got that man's ZD on rotation. That's real for me. Nate, you do not understand. It's crazy for me. Kids in me. Hold up. Oh, that's just terrible to hear. And you know, you know he's telling the truth. Because people with these sort of problems, uh, they go through this. And they would take to his music for comfort. Uh, where was the shot at? I don't know. There's a shot with the blood running down his arm and just, it's scary. I wish it on nobody. Pressing the people, don't think that I can, but I got that mansion CD on rotation. That's real for me, Nate. You do not understand. That mansion CD is really good. I mean, album. I don't have a city, but great album, great album. Think that I can, but I got that mansion CD on rotation. That's real for me, Nate. You do not understand. It's crazy for me. Kids in me up, said he's slitting they wrists on the daily. This music is more than you think. Don't book me for just entertainment. It's entertaining. Hearing these parents, they telling their kids my music is violent. You gotta be kidding me. I guess that your definition of violence in mind is something that we look at differently. Open mindedness. I understand parents or Mackley assuming a lot of rap and hip-hop is violent because that might be what they were exposed to when they were younger in the middle of you know the times when hip-hop was pretty violent a lot of the time and it still is but to say that without knowing his music and how much he's helping people is just so ignorant it makes me angry it makes me so angry Kidding me. I guess that your definition of violence in mind is something that we look at differently. How do you bitch me? I you want me to smile. Nah. You want me to laugh. You I mean, want I, me to walk. I do want him to smile and laugh, but not forcefully. I want him to do it because he's happy and he wants to do it. How do you bitch me? I you want me to smile. You want me to laugh. You want me to walk in the stage with a smile on my face when I'm mad. And put on a mask for real. I mean, what you expect from me? I'm trying to do this respectfully. They say that life is a race. I knew my problems are probably catch a 
eventually I do my best to be calm How you gonna write me and tell me you slaughter my family That's just a glimpse Go back, go back. I do my best to be calm How you gonna write me and tell me you slaughter my family Oh, that's just painful. Who says this? Seriously. Who thinks they're so high and mighty that they can fucking... Sorry to swear. But that they can say stuff like this to someone. Doesn't matter who. You, will, you do not threaten someone's family. And knowing the internet, this is barely the worst of what he gets, you know. This is like low to your hate. There would be detailed paragraphs and people explaining how they're going to kill him, his family, everything. Internet is a shit place sometimes. Sorry to swear again. But, oh, it's just tragic. I, sometimes social media is just, it bewilders me how people can sit behind a keyboard and type this stuff. They will never say it in person. If they said this in person, they'd get whooped. They'd get the oof. Mm. Catch up eventually, I do my best to be calm How you gonna write me and tell me you slaughter my family That's just a glimpse of the stuff that gets said to me These are the parts of my life that I'll never see Whoa! I am a Yeah, it's a glimpse of the stuff A small glimpse, that's the like nicer That's the nicer post about slaughtering his family There's probably way worse posts than that The stuff that gets said to me These are the parts of my life that I'll never see Whoa! I am not here for acceptance. I don't know what you expected, but what you expect when you walk in a therapy session. I really like how, you know, Nate is sitting next to a boy and, you know, it's comforting. I don't know if he's actually there, like if he's if this is like an image of like the kid in the room by himself and you know Nate's not actually there but you know he's trying to show us that he is there you know he's here for us all so he's sitting there you know comforting him pretty much is what I get from that image I really like this chorus it's just simple and it is like just in your face I really enjoy it I like that um Real quick, it is so ominous and eerie, and it, it really is just, it feels like a chant when they're saying therapy session. I think it's just a really nice tone, especially for this little song in this dark house, you know, the dark house as always. You got the masks, I just drew smiles on some of them before. And told me a life full of drama yeah. Said her dad is abusive Apparently he likes to beat on her mama I got so angry inside I wanted to tell her to give me his number But what you gonna do with it, right? You gonna hit him up, then he'll start hitting the heart of that's real He's kidding Ah, uh, he's not wrong though If he did bring it up The husband would just get worse, you know He wouldn't want to be told you know, oh, stop doing it. He'll just keep doing it even worse. <sighs> no kid should go through this. Nobody should go through domestic abuse. But, you know, kids, they, they go through a lot more with it, I'd say. Because they don't know what's going on. They don't know why their dad is hurting their mum. So it takes a toll. And then they grow up and, you know, kids end up doing what their parents did. So if, if it's bad... When they get angry and they're with a partner, they can end up lashing out. Or they'll get defensive and crawl in a shell, or they'll just always be stuck with an empty piece in them where, you know, self harm is a reality. So angry inside, I wanted to tell her to give me his number. But what you gonna do with it, right? You gonna hit him up, then he'll start hitting the heart of that's real. These kids, they come to my shows with tears in their eyes. Imagine someone looking at you and saying your music's the reason that they're alive. Sometimes I don't know how to handle it. This type of life isn't glamorous. This ain't an act for the cameras. You see me walk on these stages, but have no idea what I'm dealing with after it. This is such a great song, really. He goes for it, and he's saying he's going for it. He, he goes on stage and sings... After it, you don't know. He's going through shit on his own. 
it's not an act. He is like this. He speaks the truth in his music. He's proved that multiple points. He doesn't make this shit up. He talks about what he's going through, and he doesn't, you know, hold anything back. Oh, that, that line, these kids become the most shows of tears and eyes. Imagine someone looking at you and saying your music's the reason that they are alive. I don't know how artists deal with it. I'm sure a lot of artists go through this. I would break down and I'd, I'd be so traumatized if someone told me something like that, really. But it's a reality and, you know, hopefully the music has helped them. You know, it's a therapy session for them as well. And I'm sure it's a therapy session for Nate as well. So hopefully it helps them at least a little bit. Yeah, exactly. I'm taking pictures with thousands of people, but honestly, I feel like nobody knows me. I'm trying to deal with the pressure. I'm trying to deal with the pressure. How you want Oh, that's just a nice line. And it's true, but damn, the way he delivered that. I'm trying to deal with depression. I'm trying to deal with the pressure. That's dope. I love that bar. Like nobody knows me. I'm, I'm trying to deal, deal with the pressure. pressure. I'm, I'm trying, trying to deal with the pressure. pressure. How you gonna tell me my music does not have a message when I'm looking out of this travel of people I know affected? I got some things in my life. I know I should let them go. Let me jot it down. Let me take a mental note. I'll put it all on this microphone. Exactly. Think about that for a minute. What is the point of this song I'm just venting? But what you expect from a therapy session? Ooh, I'm just venting because obviously in a therapy session you vent you know you tell your therapist everything you vent to them but he's just venting on a song you know this is how he deals with his emotions like he said as well he's such a great rapper he's just a great person you know it's great message to have and great music what is the point of this song I'm just venting but what you expect from a therapy session ah! I'm sorry, it's traumatizing me how much I used to look like this kid and then seeing the self-harm. It makes me feel like, oh, is that me doing self-harm? It's like uncanny. The only difference was my face is a bit fatter. But I had the same, you know, cheekbone here sort of thing that he has. I was that thin minus the chin and the hair was the exact same. It's just, it's traumatizing me. What you think about me? That doesn't worry me. I know I handle some things immaturely. I know that I need to grow in maturity. I ain't gonna walk in these stages in front of these people and act like I live my life perfectly. That doesn't work for me. Christian is not the definition of a perfect me. Exactly. He's not a Christian rapper. He's just a Christian. And Christians aren't perfect, you know. I like that. He admits that he needs to grow as a person and get more mature and stuff. You know, it's nice for him to say that and admit that. But I think he's more mature than most of people out there. He has some sort of matureness around him where he can just say this stuff and help people. And he knows, you know, what he's talking about. So I think he's pretty mature regardless compared to a lot of other people. I ain't gonna walk in these stages in front of these people and act like I live my life perfectly. That There's a drop over here. There's a drop. I'm getting ready for the drop. Sorry. Christian is not the definition of a perfect me. Woo! I ain't the type to be quiet. I ain't gonna sit here in silence if I wouldn't say what I say to your face. And I promise you I wouldn't say it in private. I ain't not lying. People go off on my page and I'm trying to quit the replying. But this is ridiculous. I'm passionate, man. I really mean what I'm lying. Yeah. Amen, amen. It's hard. I mean, even as an artist, you know, you'll constantly be getting messages and people, like, talking about you. I don't know how people would handle it, honestly, but the negative messages might must just really weigh on you. And he said he has a problem not replying. And I can see that because I like replying to stuff. You know, you want to be active. You want to... Especially if someone's being negative, you want to fight back and, you know reaffirm your stance and defend yourself and it's hard because it can take a toll on you really and he is very passionate it's so clear by his music people go off on my page and 
I'm trying to quit the replying, but this is ridiculous. I'm passionate, man. I really mean what I'm writing. Yeah. You want me to keep it 100? Okay, I'll keep it 100. I see a whole lot of talking on socials, but honestly, I don't see nothing in public. I kind of love it, yeah. yeah. Why don't you write us some happy raps? That would be awesome. All of your music is moody and dark, man. <laughs> don't get me started. Yeah. Exactly. He sings about what he is going through. He doesn't go through some happy stuff all the time. He's going through dark places. So he's going to make dark moody music because that's what he feels like he has to do. It's how he it's how he vents. It's how he has his therapy session. He mentioned before that music was his therapist in intro two. And he, he brought up, you know, Notepad's his best friend in Notepad on the Mansion album. So, you know, this is how he copes with it. And Sure, some happier songs would be nice, but who cares? It's what he wants to make, and it sounds good, and I enjoy it, and I don't care what you think if you don't like it. Love you all. No, but either way, I'm happy, even if it's happy songs. And he's got some songs that are just hype, like Motivated, Turn the Music Up. Those weren't necessarily sad. Some parts may have been, but it was just hype music. So I don't think he's stuck constantly talking about the same stuff. Maybe he, maybe he does a lot, but... He has the ability to do a lot of variety, and I appreciate from him. All of your music is moody and dark, man. <laughs> Don't get me started. You want to know what it's like if you met me in person? Listen to my verses. This music is not just for people who sit in the pews and pray at the churches. Nah. I've been rejected. I don't expect everyone to respect it. I don't expect you to get my perspective on what you expect from the therapy session. Ah. Good ending to that. Now, my perspective on what you expect from the therapy session. Ah! Mm, yeah. So, as you know, putting his arm, like you're saying, you know, I've been there. He's done it too. He's self harmed like that. You know, I don't wish anybody to do it, but it happens. And he's. He's venting. He's doing his therapy and he's admitting that he's done it and he's not. He tells us how he copes of it all he's telling us all the stuff he has to go through in his life this entire music thing is definitely a therapy for him i don't expect you to get my perspective on what you expect from the therapy session ah! i mean i think sometimes people they confuse what i'm doing I write about life, I write about, about things that I'm actually dealing with. Something that I'm actually experiencing. This is real for me. Exactly. Like, this is something that personally helps me as well. I'm not confused about who gave me the gift. God gave me the gift and he gave me the ability to, to do this. And he also gave me this as an outlet. And that's what music is for me. When I feel something, whether it's anger, um, it's a passion about something, a frustration. Like, this is where I go. This is... This is that's the whole NF real music thing, man. This is real for me. I need this. This is a therapy for me. Hmm. That's what I said. Now, I want to say I really enjoyed that piano when he was talking. I did focus on what he was saying, though, but the piano in the background was nice. And he's just spit it all out there. You know, like I was, like I was saying, it's a therapy for him. It's how he copes with stuff. It's, it's how he puts his life out there for everybody. And he's admitting, yeah, God gave him the gift, and the gift is to make music that he can, you know, relate to and help other people with. Great song. That might be a new favorite. I don't even know. I'll have to listen to it again, but, you know. <laughs> Clap. Great song. I don't know if this is one of his most popular songs or not. I don't know if it is popular or not, but... I loved it. It may be a new favorite. I don't know. <laughs> it may be my favorite dark song. Look, Motivated and Turn the Music Up, those were just bangers for the car. And they're my favorite for that reason. But this is my favorite just in terms of him putting his message out there. <sighs> I, there's a lot of good points. There's a lot of good points. How, like, how parents say he's violent. He doesn't swear. He's just aggressive. He doesn't, you know, target people. He doesn't target women, other races, you know, 
he doesn't promote drugs he doesn't actively tell people to hurt themselves or anything he doesn't talk about anything like that he's just aggressive and straightforward with how he is singing like an intro too he said he's angry not you know violent it's so obvious so you know parents should not be saying that if they don't know what they're talking about this is a masterpiece i really enjoyed this i'm gonna put it on a playlist and i'm gonna listen to it again and again thank you for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed if you did please like and subscribe any comments with any recommendations put them down below uh as always i'm gonna go to the next nf song probably not tomorrow i might have it the next day i'm not sure um because i've got a bit to go through that i've promised other people but it will be out soon as always i'll be in order so i'll get that done and hopefully you can survive until then it's it's so hard for me not to play the songs for myself you know i'm like oh i want to listen to this maybe i can sneak it in before i react no no it's not cool i won't do that um you have my word i, I will every video you'll see i'm not gonna pretend i didn't hear a song and then do it you know only real reactions here thanks for watching everybody sorry for fiddling all the time i don't know if i've got like some sort of disorder i don't know how to say that respectfully i've never been tested but every reaction i feel like i need to hold something and twiddle it around maybe i just don't like sitting still but if you ever get confused at why i'm always moving my arms and doing shit it's, it's because i do that a lot and i like the heat anyway thanks for watching everybody <laughs> sorry for that little sidetrack i'll catch you later